Now this is the story of how I learned Urdu in 15 years and 28 days. Now does it take everyone that long to learn this language? See for 15 years I was a child with dreams and for 28 days I was an adult with goals. They are both intangible but quite different. I was raised in Karnataka where we have influence of ancient Muslim monarchy. Urdu was invented in North India, in Delhi and you don't see it as much printed in Karnataka. But the influence is kind of there. My interaction with Urdu was gradual. So I don't know when I was first introduced to it, but there was this one event which made me want to learn that language. And I'll tell you about that event. When I was a little boy, there was this guy who came to fix our fridge. I don't have any pictures from that day, so I generated this from down there. I was observing what he was doing. Dude, this is getting so scary. Ah, that's bad. I was observing what he was doing. So he removed all the small pieces from inside the fridge, laid it down on the floor. When he found the faulty part, he replaced it and he assembled the fridge back together. Now, as I was watching him build it back patiently, he started a conversation with me. He told me what was wrong. He asked me about my school. I don't even remember what I said to him. Until when he had to leave, he said, who taught you Urdu? I don't speak any Urdu, this is Hindi. No, 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 these words are Urdu. And who taught you Urdu? Now, I didn't do this consciously, but I was using Urdu words when I met someone who spoke Urdu at the age of 10. Because I had friends back in school who spoke Dakni Urdu, this kind of Urdu. This part of India is called the Deccan Plateau, and that's where the name Dakni comes from. Now, I was a stubborn little kid who told him, dude, this is Hindi, nothing to do with Urdu. To which he said, bring me a piece of paper and a pen. So I ran to my room and got him my rough notebook and I was like, here you go. He asked me, what's your name? I said, Joshua. To my dismay, he started writing from the wrong side. I mean, every other language that I was taught in school, Kannada, Hindi, English, started from the left to right. I thought he was playing with me. I really thought he was making the fool of me. Then he asked me if there are any Muslims in my class. I said, of course. He said, go show them this and ask them to read it. They will read out your name. How does every Muslim know how to read this? So I went to school and I asked a Muslim friend of mine, what's this? He's like, ah, that's your name, nice. I was like, this is bonkers. I need to learn this. And ever since then, I've really wanted to learn to make those really precise artistic strokes and to be able to read them. And that dream came true 15 years later. So fast forward 15 years, I joined Aditya Birla Group as a mechanical maintenance engineer. That just means that you're not allowed to use your phone in the plant. It's extremely exhausting to work in these temperatures, so they give you a couple of breaks throughout the day. So picture this, it's a rainy day around tea time and you're having spicy vada pav. To get your mind off of things, you need some entertainment. So I printed out from my digital Bible, Psalms chapter 1 in Urdu, but in the Devanagari script. Now this I can read. And then I printed the same thing in the Urdu script, the target script. Now I had the good fortune that it was the exact same sounds in Devanagari as in the Urdu script. So in my free time, I would read the Devanagari. Mubharak hai wo, jo na ki mashware par chalta. And then I'd hunt for the same in Urdu and try to guess who's who. The first letter looked like a loop and this was definitely ma or mu. Where else do I have mu in the rest of the sum? Does it always look the same? Roughly, yeah, there's a loop every time except for at the end when it looks like this. I remember using this for the first time. I had to keep it so close to my face because I felt that each of these lines are so small because you're all new to me. Now that I know how to read it, I recognize it from a distance. After I printed this, I looked at the Urdu letters in the alphabet and they don't match. What is? That's when my good friend Wikipedia came to the rescue. Turns out that there are three avatars for each letter plus the isolated form. So four avatars in total. When I found this little chart on Wikipedia, I felt like I found kryptonite. If it is the case for Mu, it's the case for everyone else. Let's just look at the first word here, Mubarak. Next is Ba. I would imagine that this is a boat with a fish below it. So if I see a boat with a fish below it, that's a Ba. Ba. That's why my printouts look nothing like the official alphabet list. The total number of combinations are actually four times this. This is the isolated form, then there's the initial, medial and final forms. So now that M letter, me, it looks like this when it's in the end of a word and it looks like a loop when it's in the start of the word. Now if you want to read this thing, you need to know this whole list. And this is supreme. Every time there's a dot in the bottom, is that a bar? I felt a kind of powerful when it added out. I have learned this. I predicted this and I learned this. Now I can recognize when there is a bar around. This made it feel like a game. So every time I had three minutes, I would just pull out my little... Hang on, I still have it. This made it feel like a game. Every time I had three minutes, pull it out and I would hunt for a new letter. 
Now it took me a total of 28 days to go through the other four sums. I printed out sum two, three, and four. It took me 28 days to go through all of these sums and to be confident enough to know every permutation and combination of every Urdu letter. To be fair, there are some letters I didn't come across in the scriptures. Like this one. This is the side effect of my method, in fact. I mean, some letters just don't show up everywhere. And it's far more fun to memorize it this way instead of memorizing from an ideal list of letters. I'm also using Devanagari as a base, which can't differentiate between kaf, kof, and kha. In Latin, we just use k or q, but in Devanagari, they have this curve with a dot on it and I don't know which one it's supposed to be. Which one of these three is the curve with the dot? Same with se, swad and seen. In, in Latin it's just s and in Devanagari it is sir. But they are supposed to be three different sir sounds in Urdu. Hindi simply can't make the distinctions between these subtle Arabic sounds that Urdu inherits. It gets even more difficult when you don't use this language on a daily and you don't have someone correcting you when you make the mistakes. But this is totally on me because I decided to learn it this way. A piece of paper can only go this far. But on the positive side, I learned to read this script in 28 days because I found a fun way to do this with real Urdu scripture. That in my books is a win. This thing gave me that feeling of achievement. Like I did this, I've got something down and I did it myself. The script that you've seen so far, that's the Nusk script. The official one is called Nastalik and this is what it looks like. After I had nailed the Nusk and I could read everything in here, I had a new goal. I need to nail the Nastalik. Before jumping into the Nastalik itself, I had to make sure that I could read and write without any hesitation. And that took me a lot of work. <laughs> My method to perfect my Nusk and Nastalik are the topics of videos 2 and 3 in this series. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that now so that you don't miss it when that video comes out later this year. Now there are three things that I struggled with when I was learning Urdu. One was that avatar thing that I just spoke about and then there are two other things that I will cover in the following videos in this series. A language that is so beautiful in poetry that me, someone who is browsing this language, can listen to it hours on end even though I don't understand every single word that they are speaking. Emran Khan Kal, Islam, Abad, Bankang, Banking, Court, Court, Banking, Court, or Islam, Abad, Kach, Kachhari, Kachari, Me, Pesh, Ho, Honge. I can read this after 28 days of work. If you want to read more about my Urdu experience, how I learned it, how I spent time on the Nastalik and the digital assets that I've used, then check out my website. I've also finally uploaded to Patreon the assets I was speaking about in last month's video, the one where I was learning to be French. All the links are down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves and keep learning.